Hello, happy crocheters. This is Lindsay at WhitingRoadCrochet.com, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really simple pumpkin centerpiece. If you like this tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. For this project, you're going to need a handful of things. You're going to need a crochet hook. This is a five millimeter size H crochet hook. You're going to need scissors and a yarn needle. You're going to need worsted weight or size 4 yarn. I am using a color called Carrot, Gold, and Aran for the three colors that I'm using. I'm also using a very small amount of the color called Cafe Latte. These are all Red Heart Super Saver yarns. And then we're going to need some picks, some floral picks that you can get at Walmart or Joann's. I just grabbed some that had some pretty leaves on it. You are also going to need some polyfill and possibly a glue gun, though that part is optional, as well as the floral part of this project is also optional. Let's go ahead and jump right into this project. This is a really easy project, but we are going to want to start with a really long yarn end, somewhere between 18 inches at the beginning of our project before we make our slip knot. You're going to insert your hook in the slip knot. And we're going to be making the large pumpkin right now, so you're going to want to chain 41. Once you've completed your chain, we'll begin row one. We're going to half double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So a half double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the three loops on your hook. And we're just going to work one half double crochet in each chain all the way across this row. You should have a total of 40 stitches. Once you reach the end of this row, we will start row two. And row two is our repeat row. So we're going to repeat row two until we have a total of 54 rows. For row two, we're going to chain one and simply half double crochet in the back loop only of every stitch. So here you have your front loop and your back loop. You're going to yarn over, put your hook in the center of your stitch, and come out the back. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and finish your half double crochet. Let's do this again. Yarn over, go down the top center of your stitch, and out the back. So there's only one loop over your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, complete your half double crochet. You're going to do this all the way across your row working half double crochets in that back loop only. Working in the back loop only will give us kind of a ribbed texture for our pumpkin. When you complete row two, we are going to repeat it. So we are going to chain one, turn our work, and work half double crochets in the back loop only of every stitch across. And just continue repeating this row until you have a total of 54 rows for the large pumpkin. When you complete your 54 rows, you are going to fasten off and leave a really long yarn end. Again, looking for about 24 inches here. You're going to yarn over and pull your yarn end through your very last loop on your hook. And that is your finished pumpkin piece. I'm going to show you how to make it into a pumpkin in just a moment, but first you're going to want to make two more pieces, one for our medium pumpkin and one for our small pumpkin. For the medium pumpkin, you're going to work the exact same pattern, but this time you're going to chain 31 and you're going to work 42 total rows. That will create a slightly smaller pumpkin. Then you can make a small pumpkin, and this time again, exact same pattern, but chain 21 and work a total of 30 rows. The last piece we're going to make is just a little stem for the top pumpkin because the other two pumpkins you won't see the stem. In order to make a stem, we're going to leave about a six inch tail and make a slip knot. I'm going to insert my hook into the loop and we're going to make a magic circle my way. To do this, I take the yarn end and I wrap it around my thumb. I'm going to work over this spot here where there are two strands of yarn and I'm just simply going to single crochet into this loop that I've made. So going into the loop under those two strands of yarn, pull up a loop 
and make a single crochet. I'm going to work a total of six single crochet into this magic circle. Here is my sixth single crochet. I'm going to take that yarn end and pull it tight. Now we're going to be working in continuous rounds, meaning we're not going to be joining at the beginning or end of our row. We're just going to keep working in a spiral and it's going to create a little pumpkin stem. So what we're going to do is work four more rows and in each row we just work six single crochet. So you can simply count to six four times or working in a spiral, you can just simply single crochet until you've worked a total of 24 single crochet. It's whatever works best for you. If you don't like making this pumpkin stem, you're always welcome to use something like a cinnamon stick or a dowel rod. So here is my completed stem. You can see how working that spiral has just given us a little tube. We're going to fasten off, yarn over, and pull it through the very last loop on our hook. Don't worry about weaving in these ends. We're just going to tuck these ends into the pumpkin. Now it is time for us to turn our little rectangle into a pumpkin. And this is going to be how we do it. First start with one of your yarn ends. Make sure you have your stem on hand because this is the top pumpkin. You won't need one for the other two pumpkins. Take a yarn end and weave it through your yarn needle. We're going to run a gathering stitch at the bottom of our pumpkin. So about every other row, you're just going to pick up a loop. I always seem to find there is like a horizontal loop that I can grab that works really well for me and it is on about every other row. So I'm just going to gather up the bottom of this pumpkin, running what we're calling a gathering stitch along the bottom. Once we have the gathering stitch all along the bottom, we're just going to pull it tight. And then we're going to make two little stitches just to help secure that gather. So I'm going to go in from one side into the other, pull tight again to make sure that bottom is all closed up. And then to help secure it, I'm just going to make another stitch. Now we need to sew up the side of our pumpkin. To do this, I'm just going to use a simple whip stitch. You can use a different type of stitch, that is completely fine, but the whip stitch works for me. I'm just going to go under the top of our stitches on both sides and then go back going the same way I went each time. So from here it's kind of top to bottom. Go under the top stitch, go under the bottom stitch, pull tight, and repeat. So I'm going to whip stitch all the way up the pumpkin. Once you reach the top of your pumpkin, you should have another yarn end. To secure this stitching on the side of the pumpkin, I'm just going to knot these two yarn ends together. It's just one knot and a second knot. And that way when we gather up the top of the pumpkin, we're not also going to be pulling on this side stitch. I'm also just going to take a quick moment, look at my two yarn ends and pick the longest yarn end to continue working with. These are the same size, so I'll just keep the one that my needle is on. Now I'm going to run another gathering stitch along the top of the pumpkin. Just going under a stitch every other row. Once my gathering stitch is made, I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to stuff the pumpkin. It's up to you how much you want to add to these pumpkins, but I did design them to be more flat to make them easy to stack. Once they're stuffed to your liking, you can just pull tight on that gathering stitch. If you are working on the top pumpkin like I am here, you're going to want to go ahead and take your stem and tuck that into the center of the pumpkin. And then what you can do is knot your two yarn ends together again to secure this pumpkin. And what you're not going to see me do right now is to take my yarn end and actually make a few stitches into the center of that stem in order to secure it. 
This would be the ideal time to do it, but you can always do it later if you need to. So now that our pumpkin is in a pumpkin shape, we're going to go ahead and give it these little segments, kind of ridges that you would normally see on a pumpkin. And we're gonna do that with long strands of yarn and pulling them around the side to segment our pumpkin. But I am going to tuck these two yarn ends into the center of my pumpkin and use a different color yarn just so you can see what I'm doing a little better. So here I have my yarn ends tucked in and I'm going to be using orange yarn to show you how to segment this pumpkin. So you want a piece of yarn that's maybe about 24 inches, 18 to 24 inches long for the small pumpkin. And with the yarn needle, we are going to go up the bottom center of the pumpkin and out the top center of the pumpkin. So pull on that. You do not want to pull it all the way through. Leave yourself about six inches at the bottom of the pumpkin. Now taking this strand of yarn, you are gonna see, because I forgot to earlier, I am going to go ahead and stitch this stem in place so that it is secure. Ideally, you would have done this earlier when I mentioned it, but I'm just correcting my mistake now. All right, so now that we're here, we are going to take this yarn in along the side of our pumpkin and we're going to insert our needle back into the bottom center of the pumpkin and out the other side of our stem directly on the opposite side of the pumpkin. The idea is to segment this so that the pumpkin is cut in half. So I'm going to pull tight on the first side, go around the edge of the pumpkin and I'm going to knot it with the yarn end I have on the bottom side of the pumpkin. So pull tight to create that ridge and try your best to knot as close as you can to the center of the pumpkin. All right, so now it's cut in half. We're gonna go ahead and do this twice more so that we have this segmented into six sections. So you'll notice that I am speeding up this video because I don't think you want to watch me do this forever, but I am just segmenting the pumpkin again in a different area so that it's going to be cutting that half of the pumpkin into thirds as we put two more segments into it. If you are working the largest size pumpkin, you can go ahead and make eight segments. It's a little easier working in eights instead of thirds or six here. But as you can see, the pumpkin's getting a lot more of that pumpkin ridged shape by adding these segmented sections. And so I think that extra little detail is absolutely worth it, worth the time. When you're done, you're just going to clip your yarn. It won't be seen because we're stacking these pumpkins. You can adjust where your strands of yarn are to make it a little more even. And there you go. That is our smallest pumpkin. Just repeat the process for the other two size pumpkins. I have just finished gathering my medium sized pumpkin and I was just going to show you this is what it will look like on the top because we are not putting a stem in it and that is okay because we'll be stacking another pumpkin on top of this. So I have all three of my pumpkins finished here and they stack up really nicely and they actually look really pretty without the extra floral but the floral just takes it to the next level. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be securing some leaves tucked in between our pumpkins and we're going to be decorating it that way. So I've just removed the leaves and some berries and some flowers from the picks. You can do this with scissors. Some of them do require um, wire cutters, but most of them you can just pop right off. So I'm just placing them where I want them under the pumpkins. And you can definitely play with this. You could spend a long time doing this or you could just do um, leaves evenly all the way around. I think no matter what you do, it really is gonna make it look nicer. Once it is all where you want it, 
I am going to use hot glue because I love my hot glue gun, even though it's really, really ugly. Um, I'm just going to be using hot glue to secure everything in place. You would be able to stitch this all in place as well, but hot glue is faster <laughs> for me. And once I have my large pumpkin done, I am just going to take a look at it with my white pumpkin on top, make sure I like how it looks. And then I'm going to repeat the process with the top of the white pumpkin. So here we go again. I'm going to flip it over and just start adding my leaves and my flowers and my berries to the top of this pumpkin. So here is the finished top half of our pumpkin centerpiece. I think it turned out really nice. You'll notice that I am not attaching the pumpkins to each other. You can if you like, but I leave them separated because I think it's gonna make it easier to store them as well as I can actually stack them differently if I would like to. I really hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you did, um, make sure to check out my other videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me.